Okay, hello beautiful people. I pray all is well with you. I have a message to share, a brief message, but I want to say a word of prayer first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for waking us up to see another day, to serve you, to honor you, to seek you, to glorify you. Father God, I ask that you will help me to share what you place on my heart to share with clarity. And I pray, Lord God, that all of us that hear, including myself, will apply this word. Um, we will receive it, first and foremost, and apply it, walk in it, and we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So, for some of us, this message is going to just serve as a reminder, um, you know, as Christians. Um, for some of us, it's going to help us get out of... Um, a particular rut in our life where we know that God is speaking to us and showing us where this word applies. And for some, might be just hearing it for the first time, and I'm sure you could add more to that list. Um, it is a word of encouragement that we have everything that we need. Um, in life, there will be struggles. There will be challenges. Um, Jesus even said it in his word that um, that we will have trials and tribulations, you know, but to be of good cheer for he has overcome the world. And having faith doesn't mean we won't have struggles, we won't have pain, we won't experience disappointment. In fact, as Christians, we experience these things and for some of us, we feel like it's a lack of faith when we are crying or when we are struggling. Um, God never said that we wouldn't have struggle or pain. Um, and that's another message because I read a devotional the other night. I shared it. Matter of fact, it was last night. And it was so encouraging because it lets you know that if you are going through and with all the ups and downs, um, it doesn't mean that you lack faith or something is wrong. Everyone has to go to God about their own life, you know. Um, in fact, sometimes it's to build our faith and our perseverance and endurance. We, God says in his word, um, he spoke through the apostle Paul to count it all joy. And um, only God can help us do that. But um, yeah, with all the struggles and challenges we face, sometimes we can say, God, where are you? Or it just feels like... We don't have what it is that we need, but that's a lie. Um, and I'm speaking particular to Christians. Um, if you're not a Christian and you want to learn about salvation and giving your life to Jesus Christ, I'm going to leave my email in the description section of this video so um, you can contact me and I can share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you. Um, but this is a word of encouragement really for the believer and I hope that if you are not a believer it in, and God uses this to provoke you to say I want to learn about Jesus and what he has done for me and I want to learn about how much God loves me so um yeah I'll leave my email so you can contact me and my husband and I will share the gospel of Jesus Christ to you and prayerfully you will give your life to the Lord but going back to um the original message yes um when we feel like we don't have what we need and it's just like, God, what's going on? And even in our own struggles, right? Because it may not be a tangible need like money, a house, um, a home or, you know, a job. But I'm talking about like not only that, those things, but like internal things like maybe we're struggling with a particular sin or a habit. And it's just like, I feel like I cannot stop doing this thing. I can't break free. That's a lie. That is a lie. And I heard a message once. So, um, someone shared, it was a while ago, and the individual said, if, if there are many Christians that don't do not understand that they are already victorious, and if they knew that, they will be fighting from a place of victory, knowing the end of the story, knowing... Like, wait a minute, I'm struggling, but what does God say? I am victorious. 
And it doesn't mean that I won't have challenges. It doesn't mean I won't cry. It doesn't mean I won't falter um, and have to get back up. It doesn't mean those things. What the fact is that I am victorious. I am, God causes me to triumph. So when we know that, you you see your trials and your struggles differently, right? You know, how they say, trouble won't last always. And you know that God is going to help me. Jesus is going to get me through this. And it helps us to turn to him. We don't try in our own willpower to, I can do it, I can do it. I mean, you can say that, but it's like, you're not chanting like a mantra and it's just ch for chanting sake. You could be de de um, declaring or, you know, um, making a declaration and um, speaking life, you know, and say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's a little different from a mantra that's just going out in the atmosphere. And that's another message of what some people believe. But when your back is up against the wall, you only know that... <laughs> If God don't come through, I'm not going to make it. No matter how and what I do, I need Jesus. I need the Holy Ghost to help me. So I want to share these two scriptures that um, are very, very helpful in the context of I have what I need. I have what I need, right? So even though my eyes don't see it by faith, I'm going to take God at his word. So it's Ephesians 1, 3. It reads, praise be to God. And Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. So, every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, we cannot see everything with our natural eyes. Right? This is a faith walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. But the bottom line is, even if you don't fully understand the scripture and we can, you can later ask God to, if he's put it on your heart to take you into a deep dive to do, to exegete this text. That means to dissect it and get all the, the meaning that God's in full interpretation of it, because there's a lot in this verse. However, I'm going to point out that this is what's on my heart to point out that we have every spiritual blessing in Christ. Every spiritual blessing. Okay, so I'm going to connect this to another verse that the Lord gave me. And this one is 2 Peter 1, 3. And it reads, um, I'm going to start at verse 2. Grace, um, again, that's 2 Peter. I'm going to start at verse 2. 2 Peter 1, 2 through 3. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. So again, you can ask God to take you to a deep dive if this is what he's placed on your heart to like again unpack this in its fullness because like i said like there's deeper revelation that god can give however god has shown us in this verse topically topically right surface if you will that he's given us everything pertaining to life and godliness through our knowledge of him so we're getting to know him Right, we know him and we're getting to know him more and more, and we have everything pertaining to life and godliness. So, the things that we need for life and the things that we need to live godly, we have everything. God says, Every you can't, you can't mix, you can't mess it up. Everything we need for life and for not need for life and godliness. King James Version says, Everything pertaining to life and godliness. So, when we see um, Ephesians 1 3 he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus and that he's given us everything for life and godliness we have everything we need and my prayer my earnest prayer for myself and those of all of us in the body of Christ um, that are in now in in the fold 
you know, to come because there are people that are not believers today, but they are believers because God sees when they're going to give their life to Jesus Christ. Um, for us as a body of Christ, my prayer is that God will um, just build us up, strengthen us, edify us, you know, and help us to take him at his word in that we will ask that, um, you know, no matter what our eyes see and what we feel, because we will see things that are opposite to this word. Um, but that's not the reality. What we see is what God says. Um, again, we walk by faith and not by sight. And, you know, we have feelings with human beings, ebbs and flows in our emotions. You know, we can be up one day, down the next. You know, our emotions are fickle. They change. And in its array of emotions, and I don't want to demonize emotions because God gave us these emotions for a reason. They serve a purpose unless he would not have um, allowed it <laughs> uh, or made us that way. Not even allowed, but made us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are complex. And then there's the fall, right? And that's, an, that's another message. However, with all those feelings and all the challenges and all the things, God, help us to ask you for what we need. Help us not to go by our feelings and our, our own human thinking, which is limited. Um, help us not to go by our eyesight, even what the world dictates to us of what can't and what cannot be. Um, but Lord, just yeah, help us to take you at this word and know that we are victorious. So yes and um particularly it's on my heart right now to say that if you are a believer and you feel like you're stuck in your um sin of choice and it's like you know i can't let this thing go i, I can't stop because you know it's pleasurable the bible says sin is pleasurable for a moment I don't want to be sin focused, but grace focused. The grace of God is with you, um, sister or brother. The grace of God is with us, and there's nothing too hard for God. You know, God will show us, He shows us what to do. Renew our mind, read the word. The Bible says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, we, we, we have to ask God to help us read the word. Because we'll get God perspective on things and that will feed our souls, feed our spirit and build us up and, you know, um, help us to walk in the word with the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I know what you said in your word. Holy Ghost, help me and God will come through for you. He comes through for us. So, yes. So, um, there's nothing too hard for God with God. All things are possible. And as I say this to you. Um, God is speaking to me, um, encouraging me too. So this is not a you, you, you message. This is a we, we, we message because even though we may walk in it today, we never know what life may bring. And tomorrow it's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> this looks like some Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde stuff. One day I'm like, ah, on fire. And the next day I'm like, what is going on? And that's part of our human nature. And then we call on all God and it's like, you know, um, I'm going to say this. <laughs> all right, Lord. Sometimes you can feel like you can be serving the Lord for 25 years. And then all of a sudden you feel like a baby Christian because you got hit with a trial or a challenge that you didn't expect. And it just, you feel like the wind was knocked out of you, you know. Um, but there's no TKOs here because of Jesus. Um he always, 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 always come through. And we have everything we need, every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus, and everything pertaining to life and godliness. I pray that you are encouraged in the Lord. Know that he loves you. Know that he cares. Know that he understands and that there is absolutely nothing, nothing too hard. And he will, he does come through for us. Some of us can say amen to that. And some of us will be saying, Amen. All right, that's it. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Later.